welcome to the video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make your character's arms bent. This is sort of a bad example here. Uh, by that, by the menu, sometimes you'll see characters and images where their arms will be bent or something like here. My character's arm is bent slightly and her leg is too, but that kind of made it look weird so I cut it out. But anyway, her arm is bent slightly. Whereas in other pictures, they'll have their limbs entirely straight. Sometimes, it, and, it, and being able to bend your character's arms can create a more relaxed position. Like here, the, her her pose looks a lot more natural than it would if she were had all of her all of her limbs totally straight. So, yeah, it looks much much better. It adds a more detail to the actual image itself. Also, when you're wearing a long dress or a shirt. Here's the tip that I went ahead of later, later is that you should you can bend it more. It won't, won't look as weird, so Yep. Anyway, here. Okay, so I have my OBJ files here. And my MTL, my textures for my gear. You don't you don't need a gear like I have my vine staff here. And you have your characters. It kinda if you open it up, it looks like a Minecraft, uh, like an untextured, like an unapplied Minecraft skin. Like, it's all laid out so it can be eventually added over. But yeah, so I've got that there. So next thing what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to open up Blender. So you know, I, myself personally, I have a perfect template I made, but I wanna show you guys how I do it first. Um, like, I'm not gonna actually use a picture, but I'm just going to show you this. So to send you the video, you're gonna wanna import, way front, and you are going to want to import the, the OBJ, not the NTL or the texture, the OBJ file. And I didn't pose mine, so I can do that later on, so I can give her the uh, sort of the bent arms or whatever. That way it'll end up how I want it to. And, oh, and if you want, just to hear some frame tip, I actually use Blender to add this text to give it the more 3D effect. Um, you can use whatever te kind of text you want, but... I like this one because it had the holes and it made the shading behind it look pretty cool. So just, just uh, tip right there. Alright. So, but you want to make sure, again, you're going to open this up right here. It should be a plus, you're going to click that. And then it should open up here, but you're going to want to scroll down to shading. And it might be closed for you, maybe it's open up. But if it's closed, open it and click texture solid. So that way you can see your character and they're all shaped, they're all there. Yeah, they aren't rendered yet, they're just sort of there. There's nothing really super fantastic about them, and there's nothing really detailed and shaded right now. So, if you want to, what you're going to want to do is you can make a base pose. So, basically what that is, is you can... You can rotate your character's limbs, like, turn them a little bit, or whatever. Oh, and if you aren't interested in actually bending your character's limbs, I will put a link up on the screen at some point during this video, or maybe I already have, but... I'll have a link up probably, uh, right about up there, that will take you to the regular rendering videos, like part one and part two. That should be very... that I'm hoping will be helpful. So, okay. So, what you're going... so since you have it like... since you have that check mark, you can close this out. What you want to do is you're going to want to drag that, just ignore that little red spot, it doesn't do anything, but you're going to want to move this so you can see all of these parts here. So yeah, there might be, it seems like kind of a lot, but it's just all of your hats, all of your limbs, and they aren't named like that, so you just have to, you have to right click on them, not left click, because left click controls that, but if you right click it'll move it around, and if you click again it'll move it back. So just that's an easy mistake, but it's alright. So basically, what you're going to want to do to actually bend your character's arm, going back on track of the tutorial, is you're going to want to right-click the limb you want, and you're going to move it over. Like, just, just don't even move it up or down, just move it directly in that direction. So, which is kind of redundant, but just move it over there. Don't, don't take your green tool and move it backwards or anything. Just move it straight out from your character's torso. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to go down here, which is object mode, you're going to click and change it to edit. So it should be highlighted like so, you want, you want that. So then what you're going to want is you're going to click subdivide. It seems like the texture has changed a little bit, that's totally normal. Just let it do that. And you're going to want to scroll down and click remove doubles. It's the same slot, so subdivide, remove doubles. 
this makes it much easier to bend, and, and this is how I just do it in my experience. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to click down at the, go down to the very bottom of your character's arm, and you want to just right click. So it'll unhighlight that part. So now what you're going so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold control and left click your mouse. And it should create this little uh, sort of lasso. And you're going to want to select parts of the arm that you want to bend. So you're going to move your screen around. Oh, and you can drag it out here if you want to. It's not going to select anything out there. And the reason why you moved it out here was so you could select this inside part of the arm. Because you, because if you don't select that part, like I just did, and you try to bend it, like like this, that part won't move. And it'll look bizarre like that, see? Okay. But anyway, you probably should be bending it like I just said anyway. No one should. It won't look right. Um, let me just redo that. Right there. So then, make sure you have um, about half of it selected. So once you have it like that, um, let's check. Double check. Uh, make sure you have everything you want selected. Make sure it's nice and neat. And that area should be highlighted in orange. Like so. Okay, so like that, it should just be all orange. And make sure once you go down here, you should want to just drag it around and you can it just to be safe. And select all that. And so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to stay in the edit stay in stay in edit mode. You're going to go down here and select transformation manipulators, rotate. And you're going to want to rotate your arm however you want. It's best if you make it a more natural pose, so kind of like that. And it might look a, bit, a little bit weird like this, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to move it forward a bit. So it looks slightly bent. Like, this is a very relaxed position. A very relaxed bend. Like, you might if you were relaxing or you were holding something in real life. So, I actually took care of it. So, it, it should look kind of like that. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to edit mode. Click that and change it back to object mode. As you can see, it's a little bit awkwardly shaded compared to the rest of your character's body. That is okay. You just move it right back to your torso, okay? And it should fit back perfectly, like that. And it will do that. And here's another tip, is that you can bend your character's arm more if you want to, but I would not recommend doing this unless your character is wearing long sleeves that go down to about your, where your character's wrist would be if you were wearing 2.0, because then like you won't notice the shading on your hands too much and the shirt will look more natural and it'll sort of like maybe emphasize the actual creases and shading of the clothing itself, like with my uh, channel art and her dress, it sort of was a little bit, little bit warped, but it makes it look like it's actually moving with her leg too. And it's, you know, it's just one solid piece like a Lego, which is actually much better. And here, even here, here but even right there on my image, there is uh, some weird, it might seem a little bit off shading, but that is okay. But it, you can't really even notice it. But I believe that this helps sometimes if you want to. If, if you just take your objects, like, I don't know, if you can do this with all of them, I have to test this out. I guess you guys will be a witness here, is that you can right click the items or whatever that your character is wearing, and you can take that and go into edit mode. So this is all selected, you can click subdivide and remove doubles. So yeah, that doesn't do anything itself like that. Cause, because it's always selected this right here and I can go back to object mode. It looks a little bit more shaded. It actually looks pretty good. Um, if you undo it, that's the regular version. And yeah, but you don't have to do that, but this only the shading only shows up when you bend your arm. And it looks weird from this angle right here. But from my like, side view, <coughs> excuse me, it looks much more natural. So if I wanted to, I could rotate my care I can work at my camera and I can adjust the pose. Like I per I, I like posing with my vine with my vine uh, you know my staff. It just sort of adds more to it, but you can put it in your character's hand and it can help make your picture look a lot better. So if I wanted to I can just rotate it 
just carry on with your rendering as normal once you bend what you want to bend. And you can do this with pretty much any limb on your character. So, like, if I wanted to, I could probably, well, I know I could, I could select the torso, and I could probably bend it around if I wanted to. But I wouldn't recommend doing that. The torso should be left untouched, in my opinion. And so should the head, because I guess if you wanted to, you could actually move it around, or I, even with the hair, if you selected it. Um, you could, if, this is where, where a situation where you probably want to leave it attached. So if you took it, it went to edit mode, and you, you did subdivide, and then you remove the doubles. You could probably take your control, and you could just, just select down, put down there, select all of that. You actually could probably, because you've only selected that, actually stretch out the hair. I'm not sure how that would look, but it's actually like another little test. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. You can stretch out your character's hair and make it longer. Um, I think if you wanted to, you could actually, if I go back into edit mode, is that if I really wanted to, I could select right there, and I'm going to rotate again, this is just a little test for me, and I could just select this right there, select that a little bit too. Um, so select all that, and then I could actually probably drag it down more, so that would make more of, more of a long, like a longer hairstyle. It would look a little, might look a little better. So yeah, you could just extend the hair as much as you wanted to. You can stretch it out so, so it looks more. Uh, instead of wearing hair extensions, it might look a little better if you wanted to do that. So yeah, and it'll make. You, make, you can turn your cinnamon hair or your golden hair into like a bob cut, or you can make it like <laughs> as long as you want to, like this. This is just like a random little bonus for what you could do. And if you wanted to, you can make the limbs longer, you can make your character more slender, uh, you know, just very, very basic stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, pose a character however you want.